Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist, and so it's actually not the, it's not that late at night, but it's late at night. It's 1.20 in the morning, um, and I gotta go to breakfast with the uh, family in the morning at like 7.30, 8 o'clock, and I still want to do some Dragon Age Inquisition recording. I want to start that recording tonight, but I wanted to do the match of the Millennium. It sounds so stupid because I already know what it is, but I mean, I said I gotta do it. I wanted to do it tonight. So... The time had finally come. As champion of the Duelist Kingdom tournament, Yugi won the right to duel Maximilian Pegasus. Promise me that you will free the souls of my grandfather and all the others. Yes, but if I am the one that defeats you instead, you have to fulfill your end of the bargain as well. Take a close look at the card you hold in your hand, Yugi boy. There's a reason why it's blank, for if I win, I claim your soul forever. You have much to gain, but much at risk as well. Uh, it's a risk I'm willing to take to free the souls of my grandpa and the others, but I don't plan to lose. I hate to disappoint you, Pegasus, but I have no intention of ever becoming a part of your soul card collection. Alright, let's do this. I gotta drop Dark Magician and Chaos. It's gotta happen. It's gotta happen. I gotta drop it. I gotta do it. We're going second. I gotta drop it. I gotta drop it. It's the dream. Live in the dream. We did it already. We dropped... We've dropped kind of the main monsters of the different, um... Oh, oh, ugh. Yeah. Son of a... No, dude, this horrible hand. This hand is some booty. Well... Choose two non-monster cards from your deck and one monster you control. Shuffle those three cards and set them on the field in defense. Two cards shows from her deck, or tree is and destroyed at the end of the battle phase. It's actually not bad. Mystic box. Your opponent controls and one monster. You can destroy the first target, then give control of the second target to your opponent. Okay. I'm gonna set all of these cards. So if he has anything, because they're all decent, they all have their own effective uses. Monster Reborn probably being the most effective one in all honesty, but. Oh, good, good. What card? Magical hats. Do I want to... Hmm. No. Yeah, you know what? You know what? Let's do this. Hold on. I got an idea. Okay. So, Silver Fang. Um... What cards do... What card can I get rid of? What does this do? I'll get rid of that. Um, advanced Ritual Art. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of both of those. Spell Shattering Arrow. Spell Shattering Arrow. Alright, Pegasus, you gonna get it right? Oh my! He got it right, are you kidding me? What the heck are the odds of that? Why, why am I act why am I surprised? Like, why am I even surprised at that? Okay, you know what? You know what, Pegasus? I've had enough of your crap. Had enough of your crap already. It's time. It's time for Summon Skull and Knock You Magical Mist combo. Wombo combo. Yeah, good night. Uh, can't attack, but that was worth it. Cleared his field, so he can't be bringing out no blue eyes. Dude, dude, this is an issue. This is not good. This is not good. Give me something. Okay, that's that's good. Actually, I'm okay with the mystical elf. Okay, I'm good. I'm good right now with. I am good with what uh, what I have out there. And now I'm no longer good with what I have out there. No blue eyes, no blue eyes, no blue eyes. Okay. That's fine. Oh gosh. Two Gemini elves. Oh, there it is. There's the draw. Okay, I'm gonna set that. I'm gonna set Beaver Warrior. You know what? You can have Beaver Warrior, because Beaver Warrior can't attack me directly. So go ahead. You can have Beaver Warrior. Come on. Come on, base. Come on, base god. Give me 
Give me black magic ritual. Give it to me. Come on, give it to me. Nope, oh, catapult turtle. Catapult turtle. Okay, well, I'm just gonna end my turn. Okay, there we go, swords are revealing lights gone. Oh, no blue eyes, no blue eyes, no blue eyes. Okay, good. No blue eyes yet. Dang it, dude, I'm drawing cards that I don't want. I guess it's Cursed Dragon time, so I can take out more than one monster. Okay. Let's go ahead and take out Silver Fang since we know what it is. Go ahead and hit this monster. Thousand Eyes Idol. Oh gosh, I do not want him to summon Thousand Eyes Restrict. Or I, I don't really want him to summon Relinquished either, so... Oh, okay, he still does not have the blue eyes, so this is actually going decently well. I really want to summon my Magician of Black Chaos, but I can't just summon him. I'm gonna need the Ritual card, which sucks. It's a good thing I didn't attack with Horn Dip, because he wouldn't have been able to destroy either of those. Alright, Pegasus, can I just sweep you here? No damage taken? I highly doubt it. I have a feeling something is coming for me. Okay, maybe not. Well, I think this is GG. Um... Yep, this is GG, unless he can stop this. Is it GG? Okay, well, it's GG, but I want to go ahead and, um... I want to summon Magician of Black Chaos, so I'm going to give this a turn or two. There's not a whole... Yeah, see, there's not a whole lot he can do. Yes! I got it! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, baby! I dropped it. Let's go. Oops, no. No, 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 no. I want to set this card. Just in case. Just in case there's something waiting for me. I'll have a catapult turtle in defense mode at least. But let's go. The one turn wait paid off. Now it's time to hit him with Magician Black Chaos. Let's go. That's the way it needed to end. Pegasus, you're finished. We've won. It it's impossible. My eye, my magic, it all failed me. I've lost. That the duel showed Yugi that the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle was his friend. Yugi learned that if they worked together, they could accomplish anything. Spirit of the puzzle, I don't know how to thank you. It was your courage and the love your friends had for you that prevailed this day. And your determination. We all did it together. That's right, as friends. And in the end, that's what it came down to. Friends being there for one another. He won! Way to go! Yeah! We all won! Thanks, guys! Yugi saved the souls of his grandpa, Seto, and Mokuba. However, there lurked another danger from the shadows. His friend Bakura, still possessed by the evil spirit in the Millennium Ring, had an agenda of his own. So although Yugi thought his problems were over, things were about to get much worse. Now that Pegasus is weakened by his duel with Yugi, he's given me the opportunity I've been waiting for. The time has finally come for me to add Pegasus' Millennium Item to my collection. Hee 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 hee. The Mystery Duelist New Campaign Duel Unlocked. The Match of the Millennia Reverse. Uh, deck Avatar Pegasus. Deck Receipt Entering Toon World. Uh, Challenge Deck Sweets from Medulce. Uh, Battle Pack 2 War of the Giants Round 2. Signature Award, Toon World, Mirror Force, Toon Mass Sorcerer, and some Victory Duel Points. So, cool. Alright, here we go. Mystery Duelist time. Despite defeating Pegasus in the Duelist Kingdom Tournament, Yugi noticed that the spirit inside the Millennium Puzzle was worried about their uncertain future. The Millennium Puzzle connects us, Yugi, and I sense that fate has more in store for us. And we're in this together, no matter what. Good, I wish I knew more, but our future is still unclear to me. I'll help you figure it out. Later that day, Yugi and Taya came across a fortune teller that offered to tell Yugi his fortune. Yugi welcomed the opportunity. What are you doing, Yugi? Taya, maybe this fortune teller can help me figure out the fate of the spirit inside the puzzle. The fortune teller asked for a personal item which he could use to tell the fortune. He indicated the Millennium Puzzle would be perfect, so Yugi reluctantly handed it over. Yugi realized it was a ruse when the fortune teller fled with the Millennium Puzzle, leaving a trail of arrows for Yugi to follow. It was a trap, but Yugi had no choice. When Yugi tracked down the thief, he discovered that the fortune teller was none other than Bandit Keith. 
but there was something different about him. Something or someone was speaking through him. What happened to you? I'm not Bandit Keith. I only spoke through him since he's become my mind-controlled slave. Who are you, and what do you want with my Millennium Puzzle? I desire the power your item contains within, but according to the rules of, this, of its ancient magic, I have to win it from you in a duel. As for who I am, let's just say I'm the one... I'm the one who shall control your destiny as I have controlled others, and that I am not unfamiliar with the power of a Millennium Item. I understand more about their hidden mysteries than you will ever know. Take your Millennium Puzzle. There are ancient secrets buried within it and which you and even the spirit that inhabits it are unaware. That's why I will add it to my collection. The Millennium Puzzle was out of his reach, so Yugi reached out with his mind to try to connect to the spirit inside the puzzle. I can barely hear you, Yugi. Our bond, is, our bond is weak. I'm afraid I won't be able to help you with this duel. You'll have to fight him alone. Alone? But I've never fought a duel without you. You can defeat him. Just trust yourself and your deck and you'll find the way. Prepare to lose your precious puzzle. I don't think so. Remember, Yugi, I have seen your future and foretold your fate. And that this duel will be your last. It's time to duel. Alright. Well, Yugi, you got me to help you in this duel. Oh, Bandit Keith, beating me in rock, paper, scissors. Oh, good, you're going first anyway. Okay, that works. I kind of wish they would have been... No, it wouldn't have made any sense. Never mind, forget what I was going to say there. I'm just going to shut up. Oh, beautiful, beautiful hand. Allure of darkness. What the heck? What the... What the heck did I just witness? I'm gonna drop Gaia because I'm gonna sac I'll sacrifice Griffor in the next turn in order to summon Summon Skull. Well, Keith, GG because you just screwed yourself by playing Allure of Darkness. Yeah, this is gonna be over next turn. This will end next turn if he doesn't have something that he can Soul Taker. Really, dude. Are you kidding me? Bandit Keith, you lucky son of a bitch. That was just extremely lucky, and that pisses me off. That he actually drew that. But it still should be GG after this turn. I don't foresee him drawing something that's gonna save him. But, just in case, let's go ahead and throw these down. It's calling a turn! Alright, what'd he draw? Oh, GG, Bandit Keith. Well, it was fun. It was fun, but, you know, you were some slight work here. So, good night, Bandit Keith. Easy peasy, dude. That was a joke. As Yugi battled Bandit Keith, Evil Bakura found his way to the duel, following the Millennium Puzzle's energy with his Millennium Ring. Fascinating. It appears the shadow magic energies I detect are within Yugi's opponent. Bandit Keith is just a puppet under the control of an evil master. Well, this puppet show is over, for I alone shall possess the Millennium Puzzle. My ring sever the strings that bind this man, free his mind from the shadow realm. But Kura unseen, Bandit Keith was freed from the mind control, making Bandit Keith's controller wonder what happened. What happened? My Millennium spell over Keith has been broken, but how? Only the power of another Millennium Item can sever a connection so strong. Uh, where am I? Uh, Battle City Begins, Campaign Duel Unlocked, Mystery Duelist, Reverse Duel, uh, Deck Receipt, Bandit Keys, Zera to Infinity. I actually like Zera the Mant, so that's kind of a cool deck, maybe. Challenge Deck, The Pendulum Scraps, Zera the Mant, alright, Signature Card, Advanced Ritual Art, Tribute to the Doom, and some Victory Duel Points. Alright, so Battle City begins now. So this is against the uh, Rare Hunter. Uh, Yugi was disturbed that there was uh, now an unknown foe attempting to take his Millennium Puzzle. He felt unprepared. He didn't know enough about the puzzle to understand what dangers he now would have to face. Hey, how's it going, Yugi? Not so great. I need your help, and so does the spirit of the Millennium Puzzle. Whoever it was that stole the puzzle seemed to have a lot of to know a lot about its past. That reminded the spirit how little he knows about it, but hanging out with you might help him figure things out. Sure, but how exactly am I going to do that? You always have great advice, just talk to him. 
The spirit and Taya spent the day together. They went to Domino Museum, which had just opened their Egyptian exhibit. Okay. Uh, they saw an ancient stone carving that depicted a battle between a sorcerer and a pharaoh. The pharaoh bore a striking resemblance to Yugi, while the sorcerer looked just like Kaiba. As they stood in awe of, of their discovery, a mysterious woman walked up to greet them. My pharaoh, I've been expecting you. Huh? Who are you? I am a Shizu of the Egyptian Historical Society. I have uncovered many mysterious mysteries about you and these ancient carvings using the magic of my Millennium Necklace. Okay, it's like not working when I hit A. Another Millennium item? Like your Millennium Puzzle, the necklace affords me certain powers with it. I have gazed 5,000 years into the past to a time when evil sorcerers threatened to destroy the entire world. However, there was one king who possessed a magic powerful enough to stop this evil threat. The pharaoh who saved the world was you. And now the time has come for you to rescue mankind once again. To rescue mankind from what? How do you know the world is in danger of being destroyed again? My Millennium Necklace also shows me visions of the future, my pharaoh. The events of the past will occur once again, and that same great evil will return to threaten us. How will I recognize this evil? I know that your memory has faded and that you seek many answers. I also know a Duel Monsters tournament is beginning. If you win it, you will find your answers. The tournament that Ishizu was referring to was Seto Kaiba's Battle City Tournament. Joe and Yugi both received invitations to participate. All entrants were given a special transparent card known as a Locator card. The tournament attracted a group of duels known as the Rare Hunters. These evil duels were thieves intent on stealing the most rare Duel Monsters cards. Joey lost his red-eyes black dragon to a rare hunter named Seeker. Hoping to win back his card, Joey challenged him to a rematch. Did he have a name in the show? I don't think he had a name, so they named him for this, so his name is Seeker. You got my red eyes and I want it back, so it's time to duel. I have no desire to duel you. I've already relieved you of your rare red eyes. My hunt for your deck is over. Well, that's too bad. I'm not leaving until I win back my red eyes. Joey, what's going on? Yugi Moto, he has the item my master desires. This guy owes me a rematch so I can win back my red eyes. I already told you that you have nothing that's of any use to me, but perhaps your friend would be interested in being my next victim. It would be my pleasure to hunt the Duelist Kingdom champion and snare his dark magician, so I challenge you, Yugi Moto, to a duel. Fine, rare hunter, I accept your challenge. It's the only way to win back your card, Joey. If you win this duel, I'll hand over my dark magician to you, but if you lose, you must return Joey's red eyes black dragon. This is the douchebag with the with the Exodia, with the three sets of Exodia in his deck. He's just gonna screw me, I think. I think he's just gonna destroy me, I have a feeling, if I can't take him out quickly. I think I need to I need to beat him fast. And this is not a bad hand to do it with. Uh, but that does not help. Okay, so he's just gonna set cards here. Great. Mystic Box. Alright, let me let me go with Silver Fang here. Voice crack. So much reading. I'm surprised my voice hasn't cracked more. Okay. I don't know what he's doing, but this works. But he's going for Exodia. I cannot let him do that. Oh, of course he's got a dark hole. Okay! Calm down! Calm down with that crap! Uh, polymerization, so that's not bad, but I don't have Burfamet. I need to draw Burfamet, otherwise this that card doesn't really help me. Well, it's Life Force Sword. Banish one random card from your opponent's hand, face down. Or, okay, we might have to go with that to try to get an Exodia piece out of his hand. Okay, so Summon Skull. Let's take out this monster, hopefully. Yep. Alright, Seeker. It's your turn, buddy. Yep, he doesn't get a draw phase now. Time to hit Light Force Sword. What's it gonna be? Please be an Exodia piece. I don't get to see what it is. Oh, no. Oh, God, dude. Really? 
Really now? Dude, this is stupid. This is literally retarded. I don't know what card I can activate. Oh, yep, yep. Say goodbye to your sword revealing light. I'll be uh, taking 1500 life points from you. Two more turns. He still can't draw. He still. Oh, it, he gets to draw now. Oh no. Oh no. He's got a face down card. What is it? Oh, I have Dust Tornado. Well. Oh my gosh, please. Do not give him this card back and have it be an Exodia piece. Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me. I don't know what card this is, but it's... Oh, he chained it. Son of a... No Exodia. No Exodia. No Exodia. No Exodia. Fine, I'll set polymerization. Whatever. No Exodia. No Exodia. No Exodia. No Exodia. No Exodia. No Exodia. Dude, dude, no Exodia. Oh my gosh. No Exodia. No Exodia. No e Oh my gosh. There's no way he doesn't have Exodia. No way. No way. Oh, I'm so screwed. Uh, it's so GG. It is so over. I came so close. I came so close. I came so close. Oh my gosh. He, does he doesn't have it? He's missing one piece of Exodia. What is going on, dude? There's no way I can get out of here without him... ...winning. Unless the all... Oh my gosh, he skips his draw phase. I got a shot. I got a shot, dude. I got a shot. This doesn't help me at all, but whatever. Okay, he doesn't get a draw phase this turn either. So four out of those six cards are Exodia pieces. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Karibo, Karibo, Karibo. This is horrible. Here we go! Moment of truth! He's gonna draw a card. It's gonna be Graceful Charity. Can't. Oh no, it's Upstart Goblin. No, no, no! No way. I'm done. Oh my god. I win. I win. I win. I freaking win. I'm pretty sure I win. Holy crap, I think I win. Yeah, screw you, Seeker. I don't know. That was a little weird. I thought for sure you would have drawn the Exodia by then. Yeah, you you won. I'm taking Joey's Red Eyes and your locator card. I lost. I failed. Forgive me, Master. I tried my best. No, please don't be angry. Ah! Yugi, that wacko's lost his mind. Remember me, Pharaoh? Actually, perhaps you don't. You were trapped in the puzzle when I dueled little Yugi. Congratulations on defeating my rare hunter, though he was the weakest duelist in my crew. My other minions will prove much more formidable. Yug, what's this freak show? Uh, Pharaoh, I've waited for you for years. Finally, after all this time, I will destroy you. I will not allow my other rare hunters to fall like or fail like this one. I have little time for this kind of foolishness. So I've taken over his body and trapped his mind in the Shadow Realm. I am in control. How do you control him? Each of the Millennium Items contains its own unique power. So mind control is a simple task with my Millennium Rod. Allow me to introduce myself. Remember my name, Merrick. Merrick, what is it you want from me, Merrick? I want what belongs to me, and I'll take it using the strength of the Egyptian God cards. Egyptian what? Millennia ago, a trio of powerful behemoths rampaged throughout ancient Egypt. These Egyptian god monsters spread destruction throughout the world until the pharaohs sealed them away for eternity. But when Pegasus created dual monsters, he, re he resurrected these mighty beasts as cards. With these Egyptian gods, I can destroy you and claim the power I deserve. You'll never claim the Millennium Puzzle. You misunderstand. I want more than the power of the puzzle. I want the pharaoh's power. The boundless energy of the ancient ruler himself. With it, no one will stand in my way. 
I'll use the almighty magic I gained to conquer and lead the world. I will be unstoppable. The end is near, Pharaoh. It's my world now. Not yet, Merrick. I'm beginning to understand why Shizu asked me to participate in Battle City. It's my destiny to stand between you and the evil powers you seek, and I will. Pharaoh, your, day your days are numbered. Enjoy the game while you still can because your reign is coming to an end. Man, that was weird. I knew that guy was a big creep, but who knew that he was just a front for another creep? Here, Joey, take your red eyes back. You hold on to it. It isn't mine to take, pal. You want it fair and square. Besides, the rare hunters have collected tons of rare cards. Their decks are all souped up, so I know they're going to be, be tough to beat, even for you. You've always had my back, so it's time I helped you for a change. That's why I want you to keep my red eyes. I know it's going to come in handy for you sometime. Besides, this means that a part of me will be a part of your deck. It's kind of cool knowing that I'm helping you save the world. No, don't get me wrong, I'm still in the contest because I still have the rare card requirement covered. Uh, Red Eyes wasn't the only rare card in my deck. You gave me another rare card way back when I first started playing Duel Monsters, remember? The Time Wizard. Yep, it bailed me out of jams at Duelist Kingdom, and I know it's going to save my butt in Battle City. You know, when you think about it, both of our hearts are in our decks. We're a team. Together, we won't let any duelist beat us. We'll whoop this Merit Creep and his rare hunter goon squad so hard they won't know what hit them. They'll be sorry that they ever, ever decided to mess with us. Thanks, Joey. I'll take good care of your red eyes. You're a true friend, Joey, and together we can take on any evil that comes our way. Alright, the Master of Magicians unlocked. Battle City begins. Reverse Duel. Seeker Avatar. Deck Recipe. Cheating Exodia. <laughs> the Coming of Exodia Challenge Deck. Uh, signature Cards. The Right Arm of Exodia. Stone Statue of the Aztecs. And Pot of Duality. Some victory dual points uh, so I'm gonna do the masters of magicians in this episode let's go ahead and do this uh, as the battle city tournament continued Merrick learned that the Egyptian god card he was seeking had been played obelisk the tormentor has been played yes moments ago in battle city and we've identified the cards owner Seto Kaiba of course how did you know sir it's quite simple my sister Shizu conspires against me she gave Kaiba that card to stop me I should have known Ashizu was behind this whole tournament. She used her Millennium Necklace to foresee the events of Battle City. Ashizu knew if she gave Obelisk the Tormentor to Kaiba, he'd throw a tournament out of greed to obtain the other Egyptian god cards. Sure, shall I order a team of rare hunters to pay Kaiba a little visit? No, leave Kaiba to his games. First, I'll need to weaken the Pharaoh. Dispatch Arcana to take down Yugi Moto. Later in the Battle City tournament, a strange clown lured Yugi to a secret lair with dangerous contraptions. Welcome, Yugi Moto. I am the illusionist known as Arcana, and soon your favorite card, Dark Magician, will be dueling for me. Only a true master of illusion deserves to hold a Dark Magician. You will never understand its full potential. That is enough, Arcana. I know it must be hard to think of your favorite card in another duelist deck. Well, I challenge you to a duel. The winner will take the loser's Dark Magician. And I accept. You must know that when a duelist builds his deck, he chooses his favorite from many different types of cards. But sometimes a card can choose a duelist. The two are connected, and the duelist can tap into the card's true power, because each is bound by the heart of the cards, and Dark Magician has chosen me. Enough, let's shuffle our deck and let the show begin. Alrighty. Dark Magician versus Dark Magician. I'm obviously winning this. I got Magician of Black Chaos. I got Dark Magician Girl. I mean, you're just screwed, Arcana. I'm going second. Joan Soda is so good. I love Joan Soda. Oh my gosh. This hand, though. What the heck? What is with the... I can't even do anything with this hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Karibo. Let's go. Uh, this is a horrible hand. Like, I pulled all my strong monsters, but this is just a horrible hand. No, no, I don't want to activate Spellbinding Circle yet. What's he doing? Well, this isn't gonna work. I don't know what to do now. I'm kind of stuck. I'm really screwed. Because now I'm stuck with four powerful cards in my hand and I'm no way to get them on the field. Need to draw an Ancient Rules. Give me an Ancient Rules. Come on, Ancient Rules. Ancient Rules. Come on. C 
Come on, ancient rules. Oh my gosh, look at this hand, dude. How am I supposed to win with this? Dude, dude, this hand is so horrible. There's literally nothing I can do. I need a graceful charity and I need to draw some stuff and discard some stuff. But yo, this is horrible, man. This is just, oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose. There's like no way I'm winning this. I don't foresee any shot of me winning. Like, this hand is ridiculous. This hand is a really good hand, if only I had other monsters. Like, get rid of two Dark Magician Girls and give me, like, two Magnet Warriors. And this would be an amazing hand. Okay, I should never set the spell by any circle. It's really annoying. Can I draw a card I can at least play? Thank you. Took freaking long enough. But there's no way this card ever- this card's not gonna work. You know what, I'm gonna Spellbinding Circle, this stupid... thing. Okay, so it's just stuck, and now I can just set Beta here and wait. He's gonna summon his Dark Magician here, though. It's coming. It's coming! Where's your Dark Magician? Okay, well, not coming out yet. Look at this, dude! This hand is ridiculous! There's literally nothing I can do. I just gotta summon Dark Magician Girl, I guess. This is just a horrible hand, dude. I need, I need, need. When I say I need, I really honestly need, I need. Oh, well, G, G to the G. G, G. Well, good night. That, that'll do her. Oh, too bad they didn't make it red. That would have been sick. They should have made him red. It's alright. But, well, we're taking the L here because this was the worst hand ever. Like, I have no words to describe that. There's just nothing I could have done. Ooh, Jester Lord. That's kind of a cool card. There was literally nothing I could do there. <laughs> that hand was just crap. That hand was just really, really terrible. And it pisses me off that it was. Go second. I don't think I'm gonna record any Dragon Age Inquisition tonight because I'm about to fall asleep. Okay, dude. Once again, this hand is horrible. Once again, I get a piece of crap hand. Thanks, game. Okay, not so crap anymore. It's still not that great of a hand, because now I can't summon anything. I'm stuck with with Gazelle, or not Gazelle, the Chimera, the Flying Mystical Beast. I don't... Can you attack? I don't think you... Can I attack? I think I can, actually. Yep, he's got a card. What is it? Fiendish Chain? Huh? Okay... Um, I guess I'm stuck with Chimera, but I guess that's fine because he has to go through Chimera in order to attack me, so it's fine. I'm okay with this. That card is annoying. I hate that stupid piece of crap. So much that I want to brain control it, but I can't. Oh my god, dude. I'm gonna lose the duel because I can't attack, I can't summon anything, and this stupid thing is just gonna keep flipping over and dealing damage. This'll work. Whatever. Whatever. I just need something to summon. I just have to summon something at this point. I literally just need to summon anything right now to get rid of this stupid flying bird. Ooh, Dark Magician Girl has an animation in the game. Alright, that was really weird. She shot it, like, out of her stomach. It's kind of weird, but it's whatever. Um, go to main phase two, set magical hats. Just in case he gets his dark magician out here, I want to have, uh... Whoa, 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 I don't... What? The tur... 
player must tribute one face of monster, and if they do inflict. What? I have to destroy. What? That is not what I remember the effect of Ectoplasmer being. That is not at all what I remember that being. That's weird. That is not at all what I remember that being. That's stupid. If I would have known that, I would have played that differently. So, yeah, get rid of your Dark Magician. Okay, so I guess I'll just set Beta. I don't know what to do. This is really weird. That Ectoplasmer is not what I remember. Well, you can't destroy my monster, so... Doesn't that suck? Doesn't it suck to suck? No, I don't want to do anything. Okay, now I'm trying to do the math here. Okay, so Mystic Tomato... No, I would not win the duel. But... If I pay 100 life points, he can beat me next turn. So... I'm gonna lose the duel next turn, no matter what. There's nothing I can do. Because... See, even if I kill Mystic Tomato, he can just bring another Mystic Tomato out and deal the damage, so I've lost. There's nothing I can do. There's literally nothing I can do because stupid Ectoplasma has a different effect. That's not what I remember Ectoplasma's effect being. Like, that's not anywhere near what I remember that card's effect being. Can I get a hand, please, that doesn't have high-level cards? Like, this is getting ridiculously annoying. I don't care if I go first or second. Fine, I'll go first. Just, can I have a better hand? I just really need a better hand, and this is, I guess this'll work. This isn't great, but it'll work. Oh, okay. Well, I see how it is. Let's just drop a Dark Magician, turn one. But I have Big Shield Gardener. Of course, dude. Now I'm gonna draw cards I can't even use, man. I'm gonna buy myself some turns. And I can't kill the stupid bird. The stupid piece of crap bird. And really, tragedy, what the heck. The stupid bird is gonna be the death of me, man. Dude, I can't even play a card, dude. This is annoying. I'm gonna take the 200 damage and just keep making this bird flip over. <laughs> so he can't flip summon it for the damage. It's better than to take 200 than to take 1,000. I guess that's just my opinion, that's what I'm thinking. Dude, this is... This is kind of ridiculous. Oh my gosh, game, I do not want to activate Spellbinding Circle. Stop asking. Oh, look! It's another Big Shield Gardener. But I will Spellbinding Circle, I guess, the Dark Magician, because I kind of need to. Need to... I kind of want to, I'm going to take, oh god, he's got two of these birds out now. I'm going to lose extremely quickly because of these birds that I can't kill. This is so stupid. There's literally nothing I can do, man. This is annoying. Dude, this is ridiculous. Okay, summoning another Dark Magician. Stupid stealth bird. The effect of what card? 
the heck does infected mail do? Um, yeah, let me get rid of that. Well, time to summon my Dark Magician. This has to happen. I have to get rid of this stupid bird. Okay, good. Get rid of these stupid birds. Alright, so... He's got Big Shield Gardener and uh, Dark Magician on the field. I just have Dark Magician. And now he's got the Earl of Demise. Okay, that's actually fine. I have light points that I can work with here. I don't know what I'm looking for, just not something high. Oh, okay, that's not really what I wanted, but that's fine. Set Dust Tornado, I guess. Battle phase, let me kill Big Shield Garden. I think I need to take this turn and take that opportunity, because I'm stronger than the Earl of Demise. So he'll put it in defense mode, and then we'll be back at a stalemate again. I guess that's fine. Oh my gosh, well, it's ectoplasma time. Nope, it's not ectoplasma time, because I ain't dealing with that crap. You can get that crap off the field. Messenger of Peace. You've got to be kidding me. You have got to be getting me monsters with. Um, so he's got to pay life points in order to keep that on the field. So, uh, in 17 turns, you know, it will, uh, so that Dark Magician girl is now stronger than Dark Magician. So, I can literally just stall you out, bro. Keep paying that 100 life points. Yeah, Beaver Warrior. Can Beaver Warrior destroy something over here? It's the only monster in the field that gains a thousand for each card. Okay, cannot kill Earl of Demise, but can't kill whatever that thing is. The, uh, the Jester Lord. Okay, Arcana, what are you gonna do? Because... You're not really accomplishing anything here, and neither of us can, can attack. If you control a face-up Dark Magician girls, but okay. I'll special summon a Dark Magician. Hell yeah. Alright, beautiful. Well, I'm still just waiting here. There's nothing I can do, I just have to literally just sit and wait for his life points to run down. Because he's gotta keep paying it! He has got to keep paying it if he wants to stay alive. I don't even know what cards in my deck there is that... Oh, hey, Mirror Force, that could be helpful. Okay. Alright, Arcana, you can just surrender any time now, because right now it's looking pretty bleak for you. You're going to summon Dark Magician that you can't even attack with. Right, that doesn't just affect... Yeah, that, that affects everybody. I was gonna say, does that just affect... Hey, look, another Sage's Stone. Okay. Oh, Magic Jammer. That's cute. That's cute. Now you have no cards in your hand. That was really cute. And keep paying your 100 life points. Thousand Knives, really. He destroys Beaver Warrior. Oh no, I lost Beaver Warrior. What on earth can I do? What on earth am I gonna do now? No Beaver Warrior. Well, I might as well just quit. Oh! Well, there goes my Dark Magician, but thanks. Thanks for putting another Dark Magician in the graveyard. I really appreciate that. Look, it's Feral Limp. Why don't you just draw another thousand knives and throw it at my Dark Magician girl because you're a cheap little SOB with thousand knives in your deck. Yeah, brain control. Give me your Dark Magician so I can summon Burfamet that I can't even use. 
Oh, he does not have too many attack points. Hey! This actually worked out well. Hey! GG! GG, Arcane! I just realized this is GG right here. Do not have to wait for the turn to run out, because Burfamet could end you right now. Good night, Arcana. Yeah! Th that can't be! There's no way you could have defeated me. Yugi, I'm the greatest magician the world has ever known! You relied on trickery to win instead of trusting and respecting the heart of the cards. Arcana is gone, so we meet again, little Yugi. I'm sure I need no introduction. Show your face to me, Merrick, you coward. I'll reveal myself to you when the time is right, and no sooner. Once I obtain what's mine, and you know exactly what I want, the ultimate power of the ancient pharaoh, the spirit that lives within your puzzle. Tell me why you want the pharaoh's power, because the power is rightfully mine, and once I have it, I will be unstoppable. The world will belong to me, and no one will stand in the way of my destiny, especially not you. Oh yeah? Just watch me, Merrick. Listen, little Yugi, my family has slaved for centuries protecting the tomb of the pharaoh until his return. And for what? I should be the pharaoh. I never, er, not, never. You won't get that the power of the pharaoh, and I'll make sure of it. Ah, uh, we'll just see about that. My destiny can't be stopped. Don't you see it's only a matter of time? The three Egyptian god cards along with the Millennium Puzzle will belong to me. Then I will strip the pharaoh of his ancient powers and infuse them within myself. Merrick, you'll never defeat me in a duel, so you'll never get your greeny hands on my puzzle. I promise you by the sands of Egypt, the pharaoh's power will be mine. Another of my mind slaves is already in Battle City waiting to meet, to defeat you and take your puzzle. And he holds an Egyptian god card. Oh, I skipped dialogue on accident, my bad. Beware the quiet one. We'll meet again, Yugi. Alright, new campaign duel unlocked, playing with a parasite. The Master of Magicians reverse duel unlocked. Arcana deck avatar, dark magic deck recipe, challenge deck, dark magician attack, stealth bird, Venus chain, and dark magic curtain, along with some victory duel points. Alrighty guys, that's going to do it for this episode, and the next one we'll be doing playing with a parasite, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.